Welcome aboard the Bitcoin Express. My name is Chase. Let's get to it. One of the most secure ways to store your cryptocurrency is on a hardware wallet, such as a ledger or a Trezor. And when you create and set up one of these hardware devices, you're provided with a 24 word seed passphrase. And this is used so that if you ever lose your wallet or your wallet gets destroyed, you can recover your funds with this passphrase. And when you note this passphrase, put it down on paper and store it somewhere safe, maybe on a few papers and put it in different places, but do not store it online. Do not email it to yourself. Do not keep it on your phone. Do not keep it on your computer. Make sure that it's offline. So if you lose your wallet or it burns, you can restore it. And many people wonder how can this happen? If you have cryptocurrency on your wallet and your wallet is broken now, didn't you lose a cryptocurrency? But this is not the case because a cryptocurrency wallet does not actually store any cryptocurrency the way we would think maybe a regular wallet would store money. A cryptocurrency wallet is really not a wallet at all. It's more like a key. It's a key that gives one access to cryptocurrency that's on the blockchain. So when your wallet is destroyed, there's no cryptocurrency that's destroyed. It's still out there on the blockchain. Everyone can see it, but you just need a key to access it. But what if you lose your ledger or you lose your Trezor and the companies go out of business? Can you still recover your funds? And luckily, yes, you can. And the way you can do this is by choosing any other wallet that supports BIP39 or BIP44. Now BIP stands for Bitcoin Improvement Proposal and it's a design that's approved and used by many popular hardware wallets. And it's a mnemonic phrase of easy to remember words and it can be used to serve as a backup so that you can get access to your coins even from another wallet. It doesn't have to be Ledger, it doesn't have to be Trezor. It could be any wallet that supports BIP39 or BIP44. And luckily there are so many options. So again, let's say Trezor goes out of business and Ledger goes out of business and you have all of this Bitcoin, all of this cryptocurrency and you wanna restore it, you can restore it on other hardware wallets such as KeepKey, Cool Wallet or Cold Card. Or what if these don't exist? Maybe you need another wallet or you're, you don't have access to one of these wallets. Well, there are a ton of different wallets that work on Android, iOS, Mac, and Windows, and very popular ones that you might have heard about, such as Exodus, Mycelium, Samurai, Blockchain, and Jax Wallet. So these are BIP39 wallets, and here are some BIP44 wallets, Mycelium, Samurai Wallet, KeepKey, Trust Wallet. So it's pretty comforting to know that even if you lose your ledger or your Trezor, there are so many ways that you can gain access back back of your cryptocurrency. But sometimes you might not even have access to these hardware solutions. You might be in another country, you might be on a trip and you got stuck there and you lost your funds or you need funds. Well, you can still recover it from a software wallet. And another place this might be important is many people worry, what if I travel to another country and at the airport they take away, they seize my hardware wallet, what do I do? Well, luckily you can go into the country that you're, you know, the next country you enter, all you need to do is have internet service and you can download a software wallet, software wallet and restore all of your cryptocurrency. Now a little tip that I think is important to know is if you, if you ever are in the situation, the unfortunate situation where someone is forcing you to open up your hardware wallet in front of them, such as a ledger, and of course you don't want to, but they're forcing you. If you type the pin, the password to get into your ledger wrong three times, it will wipe the device clean. So this won't erase the cryptocurrency like we spoke about. The cryptocurrency is still on the blockchain. You can restore it at any other time on a ledger, on the same ledger actually that you just used to wipe the funds or on a, on a software wallet, but it will save you in that moment. Um, and I know this is maybe a thing we don't really think about, but it's always good to be very secure and always be prepared. I hope that you found value in this video. I hope that this is comforting for you to know that you can always have access to your funds anywhere you go. If you like the video, go down below and subscribe to the channel. Thank you for listening and I'll see you next time.